right field line that got out of here by 20 feet. He is three for four this evening. From a rainy Coors Field in Denver, MLB Network is on the air. Tonight, we continue the road trip with the first of three between the New York Mets and the Colorado Rockies. Stay tuned for Rockies Baseball next. Tyler Chatwood gets the start for Colorado in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey. You don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three. But if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. Here's the center fielder, Curtis Granderson. He carries the eighth best batting average in the National League entering play. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, and the leadoff man is gone to start the evening. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Danny, who stands out to you? Well, Matty, I've been very impressed with Asdrubal Cabrera. He's having a solid year. With runners in scoring position, he's hitting over 300. That's not outstanding or anything, but he's consistent, and that's what I love watching about this guy. His game is so consistent. Here now is Asdrubal Cabrera, and the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And now a slider in on the hands, and he's lucky that one didn't come and get him. Harold, as we take a look at the Rockies starting play here tonight, they have not been playing all that well, to put it charitably, as they come into this one losers of seven straight games. Well, they've been on a little bit of a losing streak, but this is why you have veterans. And a veteran pitcher on the mound, he's been through this before. He knows more than anybody. He has to have a quality outing and give his team a chance to win. They need it now more than any other time. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. Arenado will look this one in, and that's out number two. Starting third, the right fielder number third. So striding forward Michael now, Michael Conforto. Conforto. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Three and 0 pitch on its way. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses and it's a two out walk. Well they were obviously pitching around him there and I don't blame them with the bases empty and two outs and a hitter of this caliber at the plate make somebody else beat you. Here's Juana Cespedes. He's not among the league leaders in home runs, but his total does top this ball club. Here's the one and two delivery. Misses, ball two. A runner on first with two away. Now a ball pulled hard, but fouled off to the left. Set to deal on two and two. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Para going back on it. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. It's a two run shot here for Joanna Cespedes. Number 25 for him on the year as the Mets are out in front now two to nothing. That's one of those pitches you wish you could take back as soon as it leaves your hand. But guess what? There are no delete or rewind buttons in baseball. That's a mistake, and it was a good job by his opponent to make him pay for it.
Into the box now, Jay Bruce. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. Swing line drive that's going to be trouble. Bruce around the bag heading for second now. Not in time and he's in there with a double as a pitcher you'd love to assert your authority early on in the game but it hasn't Second happened baseman. so far out here. Neil That's a home Walker. run and a double against him now and we're still in the first. He's going to have to make some adjustments quickly if he's going to turn this around. Stepping in now Neil Walker. A changeup that catches the corner for strike one. It'll be interesting if he comes in the zone aggressively again here with the base open. He doesn't have to. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. And there's a called strike at the knees as he was hoping for a base on balls there. But it's a full count now. Three and two. Here we are in the first inning. We're watching adjustments be made after giving up that extra base hit. Now that's better location. He's going to have a better day if he does that. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. But the Mets do strike for two, both coming on this two-run home run. Home half of the first coming up at Coors Field. It's now 2-0 New York. Jacob DeGrom gets the ball for the Mets in this one. Harold, any thoughts? Well, Matt, last game he pitched six full innings. He looked like he had good stuff. He didn't get a decision, but he gave his team a chance to be in the ball game. I look for a similar performance in this game. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew, and you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw oh, got him, and that's a gorgeous play. With that, here's a look at the Rockies lineup card for this one. HR, how do they go about ending the losing streak they're mired in? Well, you come in and you realize, man, we're already down two. What do you do? You play within yourself. We get a leadoff guy on. The next man moves him up or moves him over. Then our middle guys, maybe we hit a big bop to get in it. You don't have to go get two runs this inning. Just get one. Keep chipping away and giving yourself a chance. The two and one on its way. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. HR, these Mets as they enter play here tonight, they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Well, Matt, I really like the pitching staff. I think the key to this game is clearly falls on their shoulders. They built Osprey pitches for strikes, and they mix the pitch as well. I think if they do that, they got a chance to win. Hold on here, though. You can see the skipper heading out of the dugout now, so that very close safe call might be challenged. Here's another look at it now. I couldn't really tell when I saw it at full speed and I'll tell you what it's still not clear to me from that replay. We'll see if they decide to challenge it after they look at it from a few more angles and that's a thumbs up from the bench so they will challenge the call on the field. So the umpires on replay duty in Manhattan will now review Ladies the play from gentlemen. all available angles the in order to make the final decision. All right, so here's play. one final look at it. Now remember, there has to be indisputable video evidence in order to overturn the call. He was called safe and probably could go either way, but I don't think there's enough right here to change the call. And we'll get our answer here as it appears the umpires have made their decision and the headset comes off and the Upon runner the is safe review. at first as originally called so they will lose the ability to challenge for the remainder of the game. Stepping up to the plate, Nolan Arenado. As you get a look at his current righty lefty splits entering play in this one. The set and the 1 1 pitch. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Well, when you're behind an account like this pitcher is, it's a good time to work in something off speed if you're confident in it. Most hitters are looking for fastball. That's a nice pitch right there. He threw him a breaking ball, comes back with the fastball, and now he's late. Now he doesn't know how to adjust. He's kind of caught in between. You got him set up perfectly. Conforto is there. He's got it, and there are two down now. 
And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Stepping into the box, Trevor Story. He enters this one second in the National League round trip category. Two out with the man at first. Well, this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning. Rocky Strand won. They're down two to nothing. So stepping in, David Wright. He comes into play with a batting average in the respectable 270s. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Nope. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks and bunches, Batting and that's eight. already two Patrick. walks here in the early Travis. going. We'll see Darn if this no. continues to be an issue for him as this start continues. Now at the plate, Travis Darno. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. This one's down to third. Arenado has it. LeMahieu on to first to complete the double play. Nice job on the mound to bounce back from the leadoff walk. Those are usually pretty costly, but that won't be the case this time after the two ball. Into the box, Jacob DeGrom. That's on the corner to put him behind now, one and two. I don't know what was going on with him in the first inning. He had a bad first inning. This looks like a totally different pitcher here in the second. Really starting to settle in, really starting to throw strikes. Pretty standard curve in the dirt, looking for a strike out there, but that was a good job of recognizing it and holding back at the plate. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third, and no swing. It's ball three. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And Arenado will make the catch to retire the side. Mets go down quickly as they're unable to add to their 2 0 lead. Here's cargo Carlos Gonzalez. He's been feeling pretty good about things recently as you see the numbers over his past 10 contests. One and two, here it comes. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Oh, he might have got away with one. Two strike breaking ball that ended up being in the zone. I think he probably wanted that out of the zone, but fortunately, he just fouled it off. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Legs churning, he's headed for second. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. When you heard the crack of the bat, you just knew that was going to get down for an extra that base hit. Great way to start an inning, that's for sure. Ian Gasman. Into the box, Ian Desmond, currently with the third best home run total on the ball club. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Has a look, now the pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And at third base, the captain, Captain America, David Wright. I love the fact that he still has great footwork. The first step may be as good as anybody in the history of the game. He can still catch it, but I love that first step. In is Gerardo Parra. And for him, you have to think a turnaround is coming. Clearly not going his way of late. Runner at second here with one man out. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch if you can hit the corner with it, but no dice this time. On to first, and there were two down. Man, you can't hit them all any harder than that. I mean, this ball gets on him in a heartbeat. Nice job to stay with it, though, and then make the out at first. Ho 
hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Low with a fastball here in the dirt even. It's ball one. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Hit the other way out toward right field. Conforto is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Curtis Granderson will start things off when we return. After two, it's a two nothing ball game. In is Curtis Granderson. 0 for 1 here in the early going. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Softly hit toward the hole. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. The shortstop, number 13. So with one gone, a reminder that New York Mets baseball continues all season long here on MLB The Show as you take a look there at where the three of us will be in the week ahead. Riding in once again as Drupal Cabrera. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Now he pulls it in the air down the line in right. Gonzalez is out near the wall as he pulls it in for the second out. The right fielder number Digging in for his second at bat, Michael Conforto. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. The curveball that catches the inside corner. That's pretty good break right there, breaking all the way across the zone. That's a little dangerous. He gets to see that ball a long time. But man, that's a nasty snap dragon hook right there. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Yanked on the ground down the line. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Mets, but they're on top two to nothing. Leading off the inning, Tyler Chatwood, and they'll need him to get something going here. Here's the one and one pitch. And this is popped fouled off to the right and back into the seats. And another foul ball. He'll try again one two. Tapped up the first baseline to his left Bruce and he'll step on first for the out three unassisted. And with one away time for a quick check of the standings as you see these guys on top of the division and clear by a good four and a half games entering play. Stepping in and ready for another shot, DJ LeMayhew. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's 3 and 1. Into his motion, here comes the 3 and 1. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Conforto has a long run, but he takes charge for route number two. Now batting, center fielder. And that will bring David. up the speedy outfielder, Dahl. David Dahl. Now the pitch dribbled to the right side and the pitcher will just run over and take this one himself and the inning is over three up three down for Colorado they're still down it's two nothing ready to take his hacks again going as Cespedes as he'll look to follow up the two run homer he launched over the wall last time up and he lays ball off there, ball down. four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stanza number four. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more First walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right Jane there. 
pitchers Bruce. work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Here's Jay Bruce now. Runner at first to start the inning, and Dan, when it comes to pitching in the rain, what changes? I think the most difficult part, Matt, is the ball gets slippery. It's hard to keep your hands dry, and if you don't have a good feel on that grip, it's hard to control where you're going to throw the ball. One and one, here it is. Hey. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Hey, double them up! A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Looking up is Dahl. It's off the rocks and gone. A two-run homer for Jay Bruce. Home run number 16 for him on the year. And the Mets have jumped out to a 4-0 lead. Well, there's an old saying that the harder you throw, the farther it goes. How about this? Good fastball, and this ball is absolutely tattooed. See you later. In now, Neil Walker. Hold high in the air out to right field. And there to put it away is Gonzalez, and there's your first out. The third baseman, number five, David Ready Wright. Ready for another chance? David Wright. He drew a walk his first time up. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Yeah, the pitching coach would hate to go to the bullpen this early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works. Ready now, Travis Darno. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And there goes Wright. Drilled to first. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. And he's safe. Well, first basemen aren't exactly known for being fleet of foot, but he's got to make this play. He came off the bag in time. He just couldn't knock the ball down before it got into right field. Action now in that Colorado pen as a southpaw has stood up to throw out there. Into the box now, Jacob DeGrom. A high fastball is in there. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Well, Matt, I think a lot of that depends on the type of pitcher that you are. If you're a power pitcher, you can go ahead and ride a fastball up in the zone, but if you're a guy that induces a lot of ground balls with a sinker, I think you have to stick with that plan. 2-2, two -two, here it is. Now a bunt attempt here. Three. Center fielder number three, Curtis Granderson. Digging in to try it again. Curtis Granderson. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Well, it's really raining hard here tonight. I tell you what, it is, it is really going to have an impact on this game, too. I'm curious how it's going to affect the pitching more than anything else. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. I like the pitch right there. Got it to chase a fastball out of the zone. I'd come back with it again. Again, a one-two. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. Well, as a leadoff man, the team looks for you to get on base any way you can. This isn't the preferred route, at least for him, but hey, they'll take it. Chris Russell answers the call now from the pen here the in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Russell. 
as Drupal Cabrera will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. Four runs, only three hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Popped high in the air. Arenado is there now as he makes the catch and they're able to avoid the huge inning here as the side is retired. But two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two-run home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 4-0 New York. Here's Nolan Arenado. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Another strikeout for him on the mound. And boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Here's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. A little low, it's two and two. Two and two count, here it comes. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Fielded cleanly by Walker. Throw on to first, gets him from shallow right, and there's out number two. The right fielder, number Trying five. to pick things up where he left Hello. off. Carlos Gonzalez. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. No runs, two hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Rockies so far. Again, he sends it out of play. Another one sent foul. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Here he comes again, one, two. Hard ground ball to third. Lights got it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Mets lead it four to nothing. With Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as Michael Conforto digs into the left-handed side of the batter's box to start things out. Now a right-hander has started to get loose in the Colorado bullpen. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. And boy, well hit, but out of play into the stands in deep right. The 2-2 one more time. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Well, look, here's you want assessment. He reached on a walk in his last time up and later came around to score. Full count, here it comes. Oh, and he struck him out as well, so he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. First baseman, number 19, Jay. Bruce. Here's Jay Bruce now. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this is fouled at the plate. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. I like the pitch right there. Two strike fastball out of the zone. See if he'll chase. I'd go even further out this time. See if he chases it again. Fastball <laughs> stays way up that time for ball two. Right there is a temptation pitch. Power hitters like this are looking for pitches that they can drive. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday Night Baseball after this. 
Into the box now, Ian Desmond. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2-1. Now a ball lying to the left side. But this is a foul ball. Oh, got him on a good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. That's his second strikeout of the game. I wouldn't be surprised if a coach finds him in a dugout and gives him a little talk about shortening up and putting the ball in play. Good things tend to happen when you do that in these kinds of conditions. Bases are empty, one man out. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Now a swing and a ball lofted down the right field line and fairly deep. Conforto is after it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. And here now is Dustin Garneau. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Swing and a little blooper to center. Here comes Granderson. And that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Rockies. They're on the short end of a four-nothing score. Here's Neil Walker. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And a fastball just a bit high. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, 3 and 1. Waiting in the on deck circle is David Wright. Pulled a strike and it's full 3 and 2. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. The payoff pitch one more time. Swing and a liner. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. He takes the turn and heads for second. And the Mets have something going with nobody out. It's a leadoff double. The third baseman digging in to five. try it again. Three David three. Wright, a couple of walks for him thus far. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. This is lined to left, and the ball is dropped. Well, I like the effort on that play. A lot of times when a guy slides, that's so you can get Gatling. underneath that ball a little Rabbit. bit. Looks like that Darn one enough. handcuffed him just a tad. But you can't fault him for the effort. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Come on, Rocky. Now both runners on the move to third. And they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. Ready for another chance. Jacob DeGrom. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. A swing and a miss at a ball down. Good job of making him chase that pitch down below the strike zone. That's where you want to pitch when you're looking for the double play ball. Hit on the ground toward the left. Gloved by Arenado. LeMayhew back to first, so they get the double play, but the run does come in to score. A base is loaded. The last thing you want to do is ground into a double play, and that's just what he does. One run scores, but you don't get an RBI in that spot. That's a rally killer. Let's go. 
Standing in now, Curtis Granderson. Popped up, calling for it. Desmond, and that retires the side. It's a run on two hits, one left. On to the bottom of inning number six. It's the Mets five, and the Rockies nothing. Your Jordan Patterson is going to come off the bench the as he'll be asked to lead number off the bottom of inning number six. Jordan Very weakly on the ground. That winds up foul for the second strike. Now here's the pitch. Got him. Flat out locked him up with a changeup right there. Usually the you're trying for a nine. swing and miss Second when you throw that man. pitch in a two strike DJ. count, but clearly he two. wasn't looking for it. So it's a backwards K for him. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Here's the 1 and 1 delivery. Looking at strike two, a fastball that catches the inside corner. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. But pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. And that will bring up the speedy outfielder, David Dahl. He's one for two in the ball game. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play. So the count goes to two and two now. Two and two count. Here it comes. Hit hard on the ground is short. Backhanded. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Colorado. They can't chip into that 5 nothing deficit. Welcome back to Coors Field here in Denver. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Jason Mott is on out of the bullpen now as he gets to work in his 60th game of the season. As Dribble Cabrera will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Here it comes on one and one. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. He's set and the one two pitch. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. All right, Rocky, you got it. Here's another one two. And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here and it remains one and two. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. The right fielder number 30. Ready for another shot now. Michael Conforto. 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. One out, nobody on. Drilled right back up the middle. Oh, a reaching try as he knocks it down. And a good effort on the recovery throw, but it never really had much of a shot. And I'd be surprised if that's not an infield single. Yoannis Cespedes. Here's the left fielder, Yoannis Cespedes. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Here's the one one. Cutter misses and it's three and one. Check that two and one. He's set and the two one pitch. A cold strike on the inside corner. He's set. Here's the two two. Mm. Three and two. 
We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Hard on the ground towards short. There's one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, the side is retired. Nothing doing for the Metropolitans as they're unable to add to their 5-0 lead. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Nolan Arenado, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Cespedes racing back, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. So he's still got his shutout working here in the seventh, and with that in mind, we check out the league leaders in shutouts. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Riding in once again, Trevor Story. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. A one and one count. Here's the pitch for Walker now at second. And that is through into center field for a one out single. Matt, that's a big base hit. I want to see now can he get guys out from the stretch? He retired a lot of guys in a row out of that windup. Now he's in the stretch. Let's see if they can get to him out of the stretch. Stepping in now, Carlos Gonzalez. Check to swing there and pops this one up. And no one will get this one. Payoff pitch one more time. Swing and a ball sliced foul into the seats down the left field line. Keeps spiking him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still three and two. Well, now they wait to work the count. This is a long A-B, but if they wanted to have any shot at him, you need to have this kind of a bat early in the game. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. Hey, that's a base hit right there. Now they got two runners on. This may be their best opportunity to get on the board. They've been shut out the whole game. Ian Cashman. Digging in once again, Ian Desmond. And he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. Action in the Mets' bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right-hander that start to throw. Liner towards second. But well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. Left fielder number eight, Gerardo Parra. Ready once again, Gerardo Parra. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Two down, runners at first and second. Hit well on the ground to first. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Eighth inning coming up. The Mets are out on top. Five to nothing. Now at the plate, Jay Bruce. He's two for three with a home run and a double. And a good take there will net him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. Now batting. Second baseman. Digging in and looking Neil for more, Walker. Neil Walker. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Gonzalez going back at the track. He tracks it down. A nice running play, and there's one away. Time to take a look at our starter comparison to this point, and the telling numbers can be found on the left side of your screen. Zeros in the run and earned run columns. Digging in now, David Wright. His career numbers against this pitcher, hitless in three at-bats. Runner at first here, one man out. Ah. 
And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. Hit hard on the ground at first. And Wright's going to have himself a base hit. That was really special. You know, he was down the count, and he just said, I got a battle. He battled it through and got rewarded with the base hit the other way. In now, Travis Darno as he lifts it in the air to right field. Gonzalez has a read on it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Now batting. So stepping Edgar. in, Jacob, Jacob DeGrom. DeGrom. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Has a look. Now the pitch. Two and one. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. Pickoff move to second. A dive, but he's back. And the pitch on two and one. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Two men are on with two men out. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. Two left for the Mets, but they hold a 5 nothing lead. And here now is Dustin Garneau. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how the starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his off. Left field and deep. Cespedes ranging back. But he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Left fielder really Left never pitcher. had a chance Number at that 30. one at all. It was Eight over ten. his head before he knew it, bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. Steven Cardubo will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher, pitcher here. Number 65. A runner at second, nobody out. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. He's set. Here's the three and two. Sliced hard, but foul. Look out over there. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. And he's just going to make him throw as many pitches as he can as he fouls another one away. And it's still full at three and two. Hit down the third baseline. Gloved by right. And a great yeah. athletic play to get him. Man, wow. The batter, Here's the second nine. baseman, second D.J. LeMahieu. He DJ. lined out in his last Lemayhew. trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Hey. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's 3-1. and one. He's set. Here's the 3-1. Hit on the ground out to short. In time to first, and there are two away. And that will bring up the speedy outfielder, David Dahl. He was a ground out victim last time up. Ready with the one and one. Swing and a liner, but foul. Working on hanging another zero, the pitch. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Now that's that old school slider right there trying to get in on his hands. We see that with a cutter a lot, but the slider's even more effective because you can't pick up the spin. Two out here and a runner at second. And a slider called strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger and the side is retired. One left for Colorado. Need to get it going soon. It's five nothing. 
Chad Qualls enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. In is Curtis Granderson. No hits in three tries so far. He's struck out once. The 2 1 now to Granderson. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Here it comes. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. Well, what do you do when guys keep fouling pitches off like this? I guess you could back them off the plate by throwing one inside. Here's a swing from Granderson and a routine ground ball to second base. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Shortstop number 13. As Cabrera. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. A called strike over the outside corner. One and two. Here it comes. Sent on the ground out to second. Gloved by LeMahieu. On to first, and Cabrera's a ground out victim. Two away. Into the box now. Michael Conforta is working on a one for three thus far. Two out, nobody on. Hit hard back up the middle. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Part of the order, three, four, and five will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Mets five, and the Rockies nothing. Here's Nolan Arenado. He's going to lead things off in their half of the ninth as they try to avoid the dreaded shutout. It's never a good feeling to get shut out, and over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And here's a slider. Strike three called. And that'll be the first out of the inning. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate. But probably too good to take. And he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Swing and there it goes deep to left no chance at bringing this one back and bye bye that one's gone into the bleachers. A solo shot here to left and that is 27 for him on the year as they get on the scoreboard here it's five to one. Yeah, and as we take a look at it on replay, you can see this thing was gone from the second it left his bat. A thunderous shot that dang near gave the pitcher a little whiplash. Challenged him with a fastball and lost big time. A.J. Ramos enters from the bullpen, hoping to get the final two outs and put this one into the win column. Into the box, Carlos Gonzalez. And he lays off upstairs, but it's ruled a strike, and he can't believe it. One and two. And the pitch. And that is swung on and missed, and things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Into the box now, Ian Desmond. 
And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. Ooh, that was a good pitch to hit. He wants that one back. He was just a little bit late on it. Here's a swing and a high pop up. Right is there for it. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Yeah, and in this game, you always try to find a way to be hopeful. They win the first game of a new month and are now looking to keep it rolling the rest of the way. Tonight's game comes to an end. Five to one, the final score. The New York Mets get their 30th win on the road so far this season. Jacob deGrom earned his ninth win of the year, turning in eight and a third of quality work. Tyler Chatwood couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click on over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Five runs. Seven hits, no errors. They left eight minutes. Now the 2 2. A swing and a pop up. Perez, Santana, Santana makes the catch. Ball game. The Indians have won the American League pennant. And Cleveland, for the sixth time ever, you will have a World Series. The Indians are the champions of the American League. 20, 25 years from now, you're going to want to say, 